Hey guys, Mr. Relatable Oz here, Aaron Freddy Fredericks. I know I better introduce myself because you've probably forgotten who I am. I have been just gone. It is windy, I'm trying to talk loud, but today we're here for another ball review. And today, actually suggested by a subscriber, the Bridgestone E12 Contact. Now this is an update from the E Soft series Bridgestone had. But interestingly, what they've done is they've made inside the dimple another little rise. So essentially, this ball has 38% more contact with the club. It's a compression 61, so it's kind of where I like to use around the compression size. But it will be very, very interesting. Let me just pull out a ball. Bridgestone always have very cool colors, so that's rad. Uh, let me see if I can get this on the camera. Um, probably not, but... Essentially, if you look in the dimple, it's not a full dimple. It has a full depth around the hexagon and then has a little bit of a rise in the middle to essentially increase contact. So let's see if that actually does anything. Apparently it does, makes it fly straighter, makes it spin more, but we've heard that every single time. Going against the tail of a rocker ball Z soft. So interesting, $3 a ball. Let's see what happens. Quick thing to add, it's like seven degrees, cold, wintry, freezing, sun's out, but it's windy and cold. So ball's not gonna go as far. Anyway. That's my disclaimer because I might not be very good. <laughs> Let's go. Tailor made first. Free start. Let's go have a little look. Just first noticed, when I sliced the Bridgestone, it didn't do, you know when they slice it and then it just goes, Zhew! just did this real gradual one. And I reckon I sliced it as much as the tailor made. So that'll be interesting to see distance, what it's affected down there. Anyway, let's go have a look. All right, so I've just got up to the drives and shocked, totally shocked. All my tailor made Rocker Ball Z Soft one I did get a little right, one I did get a little left, but one I got quite low and it would have gone a long way, well, compared to what I normally hit, 185. So there were 180 to 188 meters, essentially my Taylor Bay Rocker Ball Soft. The Bridgestone, sorry about the wind, the shortest ones both went 200 meters, and how, same shape shot as I've got with the Taylor Maids, but bombed one, well, for me a bomb, <laughs> 227 meters, like crazy length. It's cold, so they shouldn't go far. And the TaylorMade is a good ball, but definitely going to try that again and on another hole later on. But that is, you know, we're talking 40, 50 meters longer. That's crazy distance. If this thing spins at $3 a ball, we have the greatest ball ever. Sun's going down, better hurry. Now, do they spin? Yes, they do. Now the TaylorMade does it spin? Yes, it actually finished up in its own pug hole. So yes, they still spin. What was so impressive about the Bridgestone? One of them I totally thinned, like not uh, got early, but thinned it, scaled it, and it still stopped within a meter. Amazing, but that wasn't even the most impressive one. The most impressive one is I actually hit it. Probably can't appreciate it. It's a slight little downslope here. It actually bounced on the downslope and actually checked up on the downslope and then just had a dribble. And that was about two feet. Now I can't hit a spinner and I'll be honest, the tailor made, I hit as perfect as you can. So I'm gonna putt it. But honestly, if you're still watching this video, stop, go and buy some Bridgestone E12 contacts. They are amazing. Are they my new favorite ball? I'll update you after my next ball review, but I think they are. They are amazing. Anyway, this has been Mr. Ladder Laws, Aaron Freddie Fredericks. You guys have a great week and we'll see you next time.